State Capitol to the garage, a whole lot of folks are looking to ways to stop the thefts of catalytic converters. State lawmakers are now looking to stiffer penalties, while one local mechanic says he's created a deterrent that slows thieves by turning up the volume. Sam Spangler with more in the story tonight that's new at 10. You might be sound asleep at night, but in just a couple of minutes, if your catalytic converter gets stolen, you might be out thousands of dollars. But just a little sheet of metal like this one could give thieves a huge headache and save yourself from one. According to local mechanic Frank Young, the key to preventing catalytic converter theft is making it more difficult. It's all about how fast can you steal it. That can happen in just a couple of minutes. Young says he got so tired of customers coming in with stolen converters, he set out to find a solution. He tried screwing this sheet of metal onto the car's frame. It shields the catalytic converter and is difficult to saw off. You don't need to cover the whole torque converter. I mean, these guys want to cut the pipes and take the whole converter. They can't cut the converter itself. If they cut the converter, it's, it's useless. And even though a thief's saw is loud, this shield is much louder. But the toe tongue is hard to cut with because it's going to bounce. Frank also puts different types of screws into the frame. So it might be tough to be a smooth criminal waking up the entire neighborhood. It's not just waking up. It's going to take them twice as long or three times as long to get it out, which they might go onto the car and say, forget it, we'll just go to the next car. The state legislature is considering a bill to make stealing a catalytic converter up to a class three felony, punishable by up to five years in prison instead of a petty misdemeanor. They also want to require scrap metal dealers to pay for catalytic converters by check and make parts dealers keep records of purchases. Now Young says the shield costs $140. For more tips on how to keep your catalytic converter safe, you can head over to our website, that's KH12.com. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.